what is going on sheep army this is your boy random marks coming with a quick video and on this video guys we're going to be talking about bone leash we're going to be talking about sheep we're going to even be talking about some of the tokens that's on shibarium guys it's been a crazy day and as you guys could probably already tell i've been on the phone so i'm losing my voice because i've been uh talking to so many different people from my friends to my family everybody's really excited just to see the price action that we're currently seeing right now so before i dive too deeply into it do me a huge favor guys and hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i definitely love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinion about the sheep army so taking a quick look guys bitcoin as it currently stands sitting at 67 so 67,964 it was above that um so we are seeing a slight pullback in the last hour um even if we take a look at sheep is down 2.62 percent in just the last hour but keep in mind guys in the last 24 hours up 88 percent in the last seven days up 320 percent huge gains guys leash absolutely crushing the game right now guys leash is at 1233 we haven't seen these price action on leash uh since when the the bull run actually and just to be able to see leash doing what it's doing it is giving a lot of people um joy <laughs> as it should because leash at times it can be the forgotten child but not today it is at the forefront and it is kicking butt taking a look guys at uh bone bone had this nice rally guys at one point it actually popped up to a dollar 70 and i think some whale either some whale or maybe an exchange i'm hoping it's an exchange it, it's an exchange that popped up and scooped up as much bone that i saw that uh popped up which was crazy just to see the least then you have the leader right here guys which is shiba inu absolutely crushing it guys at one point it was at uh point four zeros uh five so we're again we are seeing a little bit of a pullback which this is something that we want to see so keep in mind guys the bitcoin having is still in 48 days this is just a freebie of what's to come in the future so for me and i can't give you guys financial advice so don't ask but for me though right now is not a selling time extreme dips i'm looking to buy the dip extreme dips i'm looking to buy the dip on it so because again this is just a freebie just showing you guys what could potentially happen once the bitcoin after the bitcoin having um happened now i did want to share with you guys this video guys i made this video over a year ago um in regards to how to want a thousand x with shibarium new project and the reason why i keep uh show you guys some of these stuff is due to the fact of the opportunity that is at hand guys i call this thing out almost to the t and i break it down systematically of how this stuff is working because i don't just say hey this is gonna 100x or 1000x without any concrete evidence of what i'm formulating you know there's a lot of stuff that goes in my mind and i think when i break it down onto these uh little sketch pads it makes it a little bit easier so i'm gonna go ahead and play this for you guys um i'm gonna have it sped up let me speed it up that might be too fast let me do 1.5 so that way you guys could understand exactly where i'm coming from and show you guys how i was able to call this stuff out over a year ago guys remember this video one year ago i made this video this is before um you know the launch of shibari that's the crazy thing about it shibari wasn't even launched when i made this video so let's take a listen and we'll be able to just dive in a little bit more downy does more to make clothes softer and of course a, a, a ad would play so let me just block this ad real quick for the audio <laughs> But I promise, guys, this is this video right here. It is going to get get you somewhere. So make sure that you pay attention, take notes, rewatch it if you have to, because this is a gem. What you're seeing here is my best replication of what be going on in my mind as far as like what I see. So 
one a couple of things that people don't understand when it comes to pricing within tokens is what goes on in the background. So there's a thing that's called an AMM, which is called which stands for automated market maker. So that's simply whenever a dev or whoever's providing liquidity for whatever token that they're trying to, uh, you know, list or have it on um, whatever chain. So in this case, it would be Shibarium. They would have to pair the native token or typically that's what they're going to they're pair the native token, which in this case is Bone. And they're going to pair it with their token. So in this case, this is an example of what the dev or the liquidity provider, not you, but the dev or the liquidity provider are going to do in the background. They're going to have Bone and XYZ token paired in an LP. So an LP, um, you know, could range as far as like how much is in it. So we're not going to get too deep into that. But depending on what swap that they put it in, they could put it on Shiba Swap V2 or whatever new swap that does come within Shibarium ecosystem. So once they're paired, typically... And for this, this is just going to be for example. So in this liquidity pool, it's going to start off with 10 bone as well as 10 XYZ token. So boom, that's in the liquidity pool. So this makes the starting price of that token to be at $1.80. And the way that you calculate that um, $1.80 for the XYZ token is 10 bones divided by 10 XYZ token. That equates to one bone price. So it's 10 divided by one. That equals to one bone price. So remember the price of a bone currently right now is at $1.80. So hence would make XYZ tokens price at $1.80. So hopefully I didn't lose you guys so far. So if, you know, let's say random arts decide like, hey, I want to go ahead and buy XYZ token. And keep in mind, this uh, this is not going to be a strategy that's going to last. It's only right around the beginning uh, stages of Shibarium. So let's say random arts decided I wanted to buy XYZ token. So the cost of it is $1.80. So I, I use one of my bone to buy XY, uh, XYZ token. So one of my bone is going into the liquidity pool and it's going to spit back out xyz token to my wallet so my bones leaving my wallet xyz tokens coming back so this would change the dynamics of the liquidity pool to be 11 bone inside the liquidity pool and 9 xyz token so as soon as that happened the price of xyz token will automatically upgrade so now you'll just do the uh you know this is what's done in the background so it's 11 bone divided by 9 xyz token so the price uh you know so the it would be 1.22 um bone price so a 1.22, you would multiply that by the current price of bone. And now XYZ token would be around $2.19. So, and another thing I just wanted to add to that, uh, remember the current price of bone is a dollar and 80 cents at that time. So when you do it, it's like 1.22 times 1.8. This is how I was able to get the two, uh, $2 and uh, $2.19 price. So just for clarity for some. So immediately the price goes up now something to keep in mind you know with this example is the liquidity that i did um it's extremely low so the price skip is going to be dramatic but so that's where you guys can still understand the concept now let's say you know the price of bone shoots up to ten dollars like most people think it could at least get the ten dollars you know i've even seen numbers even a lot uh higher in the 5k range for you know price for bone but we're just going to keep everything conservative with this example so the price of bone becomes ten dollars um and so what would that do to the price of XYZ token? So remember, if it's one, let's say if nothing happened and this token just traded flat, you know, at one bone price, then the price of XYZ token would automatically just go up to $10. So, you know, by it simply not doing that and just trading flat line, just like this on the chart, the price of XYZ token goes to $10. So if XYZ token get a little bit of action, a little bit of, you know, price positivity, then the price of XYZ token now becomes $12 in about 20 cents now. Just off of minimal buys and just, you know, just doing the bare minimum. And from starting price, that's almost a 10X. Well, that's actually, yeah, that's more than a 10X. You just 10X your money, all due to the fact that Bone is doing what we all think it's going to do. Now, if Bone starts pumping, you know, $10 Bone, then also XYZ token decide that, hey, people are going to FOMO in. You know, and this is just the dynamics of the liquidity pool just switch. Now, you know, you have uh, five uh, bone that's actually added into the liquidity pool. Um, and of course, XYZ token five is going to be taken out. So that leaves uh, four times bone price. So at ten dollars. You're looking at a forty dollar XYZ token price, which would be like a twenty two X return from where it started from. And again, like I said, you got it. This have to be done early before the pump of bone. So that way you could see those serious. Um, price movements so now even people who will say like well what if uh, none of that happened and people start selling xyz token 
So even if someone starts selling XYZ token, guys, and I just flip the numbers as far as this being extremely bearish. So it will be four bone left in the, this pretty much like the liquidity is almost drained at this point. So it's four bone left in the liquidity pool and 16, um, and 16 XYZ uh, token is added into it. So this would make the, you know, the, the math becomes a quarter price or 0.25, the price of bone token. So if bone starts to pump, you know, gets to $10 now, automatically it would drag the price of xyz token put an xyz token at two dollars and fifty cents it would still be higher from where it launched at so this allows you is this allow you to be able to have extreme you know reward with a low side of uh, risk now granted you got to make sure that you're not buying into rugs you know that's the only thing that you know this this equation or this formula is not going to be able to save you from and guys, there you have it. So hopefully you guys really understand what I was saying in this video. If not, I'll leave the link in this uh, of this video in the description so that you guys could go back and watch it. But the main point, guys, the main point that I'm making is when it comes to liquidity, um, bone is at the center of it. So if bone is pumping, then guess what it's going to do? We're going to see this happen. Like this token walk um granted walk is uh liquidity is with leash because leash is pumping guess what it automatically did for the token it made it eat a zero automatically guys because the liquidity pool like i mentioned in this video would uh cause the price of it to go higher like i was not giving you guys theory or anything like that i was giving you guys what i know and this is the proof of concept right here so if you look at other projects that's currently on Shibarium, keep in mind, these are all Shibarium project. You have Bull just had a nice breakout. Why did it have a nice breakout? Because Bone has been pumping, guys. It's been going crazy. So it automatically drags up the price of any Shibarium project, which is actually giving you guys a multiplying effect when it comes to rewards. Uh, so Sharby, same thing, just broke out. So this is extra ways, especially just to be able to get more bone token, guys. So that's how I was able to acquire a lot more bone than what I thought I was going to be able to. Because, again, at the end of the day, you know, doing all this just to be able to get um, the maximum amount of bone that I am able to get. So that way, once $100 come, I will be super satisfied. Same thing right here with Crypt IQ. Um, I keep mentioning them and I'm kind of sad to see them leave as far as they're going to be leaving Shibarium. But this is the point. Look, they're having this nice pump. Bone is going up. Look at Skull. Same thing as well, guys. It's like all these Shibarium projects, they are pumping. And this is what I said that was going to happen, guys, a year ago. I didn't, you know, say hindsight. I was making this video a year ago telling you guys, make sure that you're prepared make sure that you have everything in order so you guys can be able to uh, capitalize on all this s punk same thing nice little candle you have ryoshi a nice breakout ryoshi's having a nice breakout going on right here mojo i made a video talking about this just the other day as far as me buying it guys and i bought it roughly right here and already you have this super nice long candle um bonus pumping now my bag size as far as how much i could extract to be able to get more bone is constantly growing chewy same thing for chewy chewy is having a nice breakout as well too uh again underlying asset bone you look at all these underlying asset bone the underlying asset bone like see i'm just showing you guys is bone 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 with the exception of walk which is leash they're using leash as the underlying asset and the last one guys that i want to show you guys is ralph ralph is uh probably uh has the biggest liquidity on shibarium right now but look at this it is having a nice parabolic move on the way up so um this thing this is only the beginning you know this is only the beginning for Sheeb, only the beginning for Leash, only the beginning for Bone. So, again, for me, I'm steady holding on 
because I know once pricing or once uh, exchanges uh, really start to list this bad boy, man, it's going to start flying even faster. But guys, let me know in the comment down below your thoughts, your opinion about all this. Drop the names of some of the projects on Shibarium that you have been buying. But that's all I have for you tonight, guys. Had to make a video just to be able to show you guys uh, what's happening in the background with all of these projects. But that's it. Random Mark signing off. Peace.